Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today we've got a very special Cheris SJ on my lap. This is actually a 2013 SJ, which even though it's an SJ, it's, it's not huge. It's actually only 15 and a quarter across. Um, but as you can see here, it's got this gorgeous sinker redwood top on it that just has some beautiful mineral streaking all the way throughout it. But look at this Indonesian rosewood. You'd almost think that it was some kind of, you know, really, really figured ebony just because of the weird pattern on it and the color of it. It's just so unique. I, I don't think I've ever seen a cut quite like this before. Now, what I thought was also really tasteful is he did a Wenge binding all the way around. Um, and also this beautiful Wenge arm bevel here. But he used that really figured uh, Indonesian rosewood as a front face purfling. And it, it just, it looks so beautiful against the Wenge and the Sinker Redwood. Now it's got a, a radial cut Wingate rosette with a center ring of eb, er, abalone throughout it. Uh, and it's got an ebony bridge with ebony pens and a water buffalo bridge, also not. Now as you get into the, the bridge here, or I'm sorry, the fretboard, it's got an ebony fretboard, but he went ahead and created that kind of box style um, purfling trim out of that Indonesian rosewood and these beautiful mother of pearl accents for the fret markers that almost look like the silhouette of a blossoming flower. It's kind of abstract, but really beautiful to see in person. Now, talking about the neck, it's what he calls this Chera C, which is actually, it's a really flat C, which I really love all the way up. And it's, it's pretty thin here at the first fret, which I also really love. But it's got a five piece neck here that's mahogany, maple, rosewood, maple, mahogany, which makes it really stiff and strong, especially when you tune it between open tunings and things. It, it doesn't move whatsoever. Now, as you get into the head cap here, it's got a stripy ebony head cap that's been bound all the way around with that Indonesian rosewood. Uh, and then the C, rather than it just being, you know, like abalone, it's got the Indonesian rosewood laid in the center with a very thin strip of abalone around the face of that. Now, same kind of thing for the back cap here. Not as stripy of an ebony, but it is ebony, but it's also got that Indonesian rosewood kind of uh, purfling all the way around with some gold go toes with zero Cody buttons on it, which he's the one that kind of makes these uh, upgrade buttons, which I personally have on my guitar. They just, they make it feel like a million bucks. I, I, I really love the feel of those tuners. I had to figure out what tuning I was in first. Now this has one of my favorite tones that I've, I've heard out of Ro Redwood. Um, it's beautifully balanced all the way across. The mid-range on it is surprisingly bold and forward. I mean, that's ridiculous. I can play G chord on this all day long. And the sustain of it is just phenomenal. Um, he really knows what he's doing with Redwood. It has that immediacy of cedar, but it's got that bloom effect that, that spruce tends to have. Now, another thing that probably is attributing to why I can hear it so well is it does have a sound port. Not a very large one, but just enough that you can hear, which typically the smaller sound ports you hear a little more bass out of it. But again, that sustain just is, is perfect. It makes this 
just such an enjoyable guitar to play. And another thing that I should mention is it's got a K&K &K Trinity already installed in it. So this thing is gig and stage ready. So if you've got any further questions about this 2013 Cheris SJ, message on at cedarrockstudio.com. And thanks for listening. Thank mm -hmm. you.